Good morning and welcome to another really boring episode of Clay Cam. Today's Friday, it's payday. It's payday, here's paychecks. I don't really know exactly what we're gonna do today. I don't know what the video is gonna be titled, but I think we're gonna do a little bit of concrete, a little bit of flashing, a little bit of this and that, and more words of wisdom that are not very wise. Y'all stick with me. Subscribe and I don't really have anything else to say. Okay. Cool. You're likely wondering why I'm wearing a hat today. Well, I gave myself a haircut last night and just hadn't had time for Leanne to fix the back of it. So probably looks pretty bad. And I'm pretty sure I look like Chris Lane. I feel pretty. Therefore, I need to take a little bit off the top too. Gotta run over to Twin City Mall real quick, check on Tate, make sure everything's good over there, drop the checks off, make a show and just try to, you know, let my presence be known and then pass out presents or something. That don't make any sense. Anyway, the crack in my windshield is still getting bigger. That's some bull crap, man. Jason, how'd you get so strong? What are we gonna do with this big pile of dirt? Dad, our video was a hit, buddy. Did it? What? Everybody liked your drone footage yesterday, Dad. My flying the of the drone? Yeah, the flying of the drone. Is it in the sky right now? We got it going? It's kind of like the running of the bulls. We did good. That was a fun day, wasn't it, Dad? Oh, it was a great day. What are we gonna do today to make it interesting? We gotta make something fun, do something interesting for the people, for the Let's vlog. don't pour this concrete. Ah, uh, don't pour the concrete. Don't pour it, that'd be fun. Check. Check. I do want to let everybody know that I did bring the putty knife today. That's and, good. And the note on my hand really did help remind it's about, me. It's about time. And I wanted to ask you, did you get your cell phone back going? No. Dang it. Tell everybody what happened to I it. I dropped it in the lake. It's because of the flood water. Yeah. It's because high water. Really high water. Me. Right. I'm glad today's Friday. Glad I'm here with you. Glad I'm here with these people, the three people that watch my videos and you're yeah, one of them. Well, yeah, we'll see whenever I get yeah. my phone back, I can start watching them again. <laughs> okay. In case anybody construction-wise interested in what's going on back here, what we've done is we put a fire line into the building for a fire sprinkler, and then also had to run a new water main for this unit. It's a 30,000 square foot unit, and they wanted their own water main. A lot of these buildings are like connected as far as like water meters go, so we had to isolate this building. That way they get their own water, uh, separate water bill. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're kind of cleaning it up back here, and there was a bunch of asphalt out here, and we, we dug the asphalt out to put the, the lines in. Now we're gonna fill the ditches in with concrete, and they're gonna overlay it with asphalt, so it should be pretty back here when it's done. And then over here is the golf place. They're gonna make a new entrance for the uh, golf simulator at Spartan. Vlog life. Battery's just a little bit low. I don't know if you can see. Battery's just a little bit low on the dump trailer, but it's gonna get there eventually. I think I might just take a nap. Yeah, be here for a minute. It's really okay, I know exactly what to do in this situation. We're just gonna shake the hell out of it. Uh, let's see here. Yep, looks like we got it. I better put that battery on charge now. Ah, oh, shoot. It is Friday, but it don't really feel like a Friday. So I guess what's happened here, the batteries died and gravity had to let the trailer down, the, the dump part of the trailer down and it pushed the hydraulic fluid out. Today ain't my day, but it, it's gonna get better. It's definitely gonna get better. It always gets better. What should I do it like, it goes like this, lunchtime. That way I could put the letters right there. Okay, my friend Joe tells me that the Impossible Whopper increases your estrogen. I definitely don't need that. So today I'm just gonna do some Simply Cheetos. That means that they're healthy, right? And I'm also gonna do a sandwich. You have any 
grab a pot. Bread. Bread, 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 bread. Here we go. What is this? This is, uh... Oh, man. Dude. We have a mouse in our house. Son of a A mouse chewed a hole in the bread. Do not show Leanne this vlog. I'm gonna have to go to war on this mouse. Oh, wow. Rat Mother They were kind of stale. Mm, those are definitely gonna be stale. Find you, little son of a There's rat sh all over the pantry. Okay, I don't see the mouse, but I'm putting the rat trap in this. Today's one of those days where, like, I get lunch and I'm sleepy. Anybody else get sleepy after lunch? I know I do. I'm going to do a cup of coffee. It's been charging for maybe 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna take it off and go ahead and head on down the road. We're doing so much riding around today. Why don't we talk about something? Well, let's talk about dump trailers. And I wanna, I wanna mention like a dump trailer is pretty much my favorite tool in the whole history of me doing construction. That is, that's my favorite tool. I think my dump trailer is like a 14,000 pound, a 14,000 pound axle. I don't really know what it lifts. I'm, I'm, it'll lift a pretty good bit. Like I've had that thing slap full of concrete and it has a little bit of trouble lifting it up, but as long as you stack a little bit of it to the back, it'll pick it up just fine. The great thing about a dump trailer is that you can load it with a tractor or, or by hand or whatever you have to load it with, but you don't have to unload it. You back up to where you're going, you hit a button and it goes up. The one thing I wish I had on mine was maybe a system that hooked it to my truck, that way I didn't have to keep the battery charged. That's the one thing that I kind of deal with frequently is keeping the battery charged. And I I have a little solar panel that I normally hook up to it, and that really helps out a lot, keeping the battery tended and keeping it fresh. As a contractor, if you build houses the size of the houses we build, which are not real big, somewhere between 2,000 and 3,500 square foot, a dump trailer is perfect for the disposal. And you have to maybe drop it four or five times, and you save a lot of money too. I figured it up, and you save a couple of thousand dollars on a 3,000 square foot house. That's money in the bank if you build 10 houses. Right there, Dad. You're a good guy, you're a fun guy, but you you scratch my truck and there's a lot of things you don't do to another man to touch your truck or touch his woman my brother we chilling how you doing greg you know when you're in business for so long you do business with people for so long and you you meet all these guys they eventually become your friends and i know that there's like this you should keep your separation between friends and business but man that dude's name is Greg, and he's a, he's a lumber delivery guy, and we're just tight, man. We're just buddies. This is definitely one of those days there's a lot of riding around. I'm pulling another load of dirt. Uh, thank y'all for joining me. I don't think I would subscribe to me if this was the kind of episode I was putting out all the time. Sorry about this, y'all. I got the Monday blues on Friday. I didn't film just a minute ago, but my solenoid went out on my uh, dump trailer. I had to jiggle with it and, and then eventually I just bridged it with a screwdriver and it worked. Uh, it's about three o'clock. Friday's almost over. Man, it's still a pretty day. And the, the, the weather, it's just perfect temperature. Kind of makes me wish I was out on a boat somewhere. Yeah, the hard hat, where'd you get that from? It's been on my, that tree in the house on that post. Really? For the last five, six years. Huh, looks good on you. I thought being as I was doing wire work, now I put the hat on. Hey, right, I'll help you. We don't really do a lot of concrete work anymore. We most of the time just sub that out, but this is a small enough job that we decided to tackle it. And plus, we don't have to really finish this. We're just gonna screed it off and pour asphalt on top of it. Pretty, pretty simple deal. I gotta admit, when I woke up this morning, 
I didn't think I was gonna be cutting concrete wire. I thought I was gonna be working at Jerry Lewis's house doing flashing. Jerry, I'm really sorry about that. I probably should actually just text you instead of telling the vlog this, but I'll text you later. I'm, I'll be over there tomorrow because it's gonna rain next week. Sorry, buddy. Over and get you two leaves, two out of there while I got this oh yeah, I got you. Dad, it's been a good week. Any takeaways from the week? Anything you learned? How to fly a drone. Dang, sure did. Thank y'all for watching. I'm sleepy. Uh, I, lo I love y'all. Love y'all. Love, is that weird? Me, love me. Love you, Dad. Thank you. Thank y'all for subscribing. Subscribing. God, I'm tired. I gotta go.